the algae when 20 is a hair and today I'm doing a video about base mobile so I'm on best .com here so check out this article here so I have some good news from base mobile customers base mobile is now finally getting voice of LT finally getting voice of LT so that's a win so that means you guys will be able to use uh, voice and data at the same time which is really cool this has been a long time coming and I'm sure a lot of base, I'm sure a lot of base customers, I'm sure a lot of base customers are excited about this. So Google will ask check this out. So y'all guys see the base mobile coverage map right here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so it says have base mobile's first move after the Sprint T-Mobile merger was to offer a fifteen dollar frame plan that that's exactly what was being offered over at Metro by T-Mobile. Now T-Mobile is getting ready to make a second and major change with the brand, according to a, a recent report filed by the Base 7 Research. Base Mobile is notifying its network of dealers to prepare for the launch of the Base Mobile expanded the Base Mobile expanded data network. The expanded data network will give Boost Mobile subscribers access to T-Mobile's network. The launch is scheduled to take place in test markets from April 28, 2020. So that's about uh, what's about like uh, that's about ten that's about, that's about like ten that's about, that's about ten days from now. A four days from now. Much is uh, tentatively scheduled for the middle of May. So, this is really cool. So, uh, like I said, Beast Mobile is getting voice over LTE. It's about time. So, this um, this, uh, this expanded data network will give Beast Mobile customers access to T Mobile Network. So, It says Boost Mobile expanded data network will include voice over LTE services. Boost Mobile's new expanded data network will also offer subscribers improved service switches. The prepaid provider has told its dealers that they will be able to offer devices with voice over LTE cap with voice over LTE com capabilities. Subscribers will benefit from voice over LTE with higher quality audio calls and the ability to use voice and searching net at the same time while using LTE data. That is a win. It says currently only the Samsung Galaxy S20 allows voice over LTE enabled calls on the Sprint network. I mean, um, I mean on the Beast Mobile network. And that's a 5G phone. Okay. So. Pretty cool there. So uh, the S20 on base already has this feature. So another upcoming change will give customers the ability to more easily pop and swap some between devices. Boost mobile are being told that the new features will help level the playing field versus Metro by T-Mobile. So I'm guessing what the pop and swap man is that I get I guess you can just pop and pop and an awesome card into another phone and you don't have to call boost mode to, uh, I don't know I mean that, that's a cool feature too so you can pop and swap some cards so pretty nice so I don't think you uh, will have to call boost mode to uh, to do that because the SIM card will would, would, would already be activated so all you have to do is just pop the SIM card in from one plan to another. It says unfortunately the changes won't benefit all Bismarck. It says unfortunately the changes won't benefit all Bismarck subscribers. Customers with older phones may not have the right radio band in them to access the T-Mobile network and or the right software installed 
12 hour voice of LT Colin. Beast Mobile has not yet specific, has not specified what, if any, older devices will support the new features. So we don't know yet. Uh, if you guys have a, like an older phone, uh, you guys might not be able to get this. I don't know what phones are considered the older phones. I say no, I would say like, like a, I don't even know. Uh, since the changes that this mobile phone at a time when T-Mobile is preparing to divest the brand and its over 8 million subscribers to the Dish Network, according to Jeff Blom, this SBP, I guess it's Senior Vice President of Government Affairs and Public Policy, T-Mobile has 90 days from April 1st to date that T-Mobile spent closed the um, closed closed under merger to turn Boost Mobile over to Dish. This chairman, Joey Irvin, said back in December that his company could offer wireless services within 30 days of the deal's closure. He has also previously stated that he would like to have Dish's own 5G network up and running in at least one city by the end of 2020. By 2023, in LA, in, uh, in that A cost. Of ten billion dollars, the company had been planning to have its 5G network over 70% of the country. However, their some months have been called into question by some amidst the coronavirus pandemic, fueled by statements made by this made by this CEO and by a number of recent layoffs at the company. This is CEO Eric Carlson. Recently sent a letter to employees stating that the pandemic has forced us to take a closer look at every aspect of our business, at our work, volumes, our areas of focus and investments, and the performance of our team members, end quote. A copy of that net was obtained by workers. Uh, while this may face some financial difficulty going forward, T-Mobile appears to have at least been doing its part to keep the Boost Mobile brand from bleeding customers before ultimately divesting it to a company that aims to one day become a tribal. So uh, this is really cool. Uh, so by the time the Beast Mobile is getting voice over LTE, uh, the Galaxy S20 already has a feature on Boost, and that's a 5G phone. I don't know what phones are uh, will be listed with this. I guess any LTE phone. Uh, I would say if like the, I don't know if like. 2015 maybe, I guess 2015, I guess I would say 2015 to, to newer. Um, they, um, um, uh, um, it does not say what phones are classified as older devices. I'd say any device from 2015 back. That's just my guess. Um, but if you guys have like a newer phone, you guys should have the ability to do voice over to you. And it's about time that Boost Mobile has uh, brought this feature because I'm sure a lot of people will like that because you guys will be able to talk and talk and browse the web at the same time on Boost Mobile. Uh, you can edit it before. Uh, and only, the only way to talk and use the web at the same time on Boost Mobile was to have Wi Fi on. But now you will not have to do that. You can uh, use your LTE data, of course, enhance the name Voice of LTE. So a lot of people will like this. I think a lot of people are going to like this. And also, Beast Mobile is getting uh, Beast Mobile is getting expanded data network as well, and they'll soon be on the T-Mobile network very soon as well. So pretty interesting there.
So it says, so it says all that thing in the first paragraph about the expanded data network. It says the uh, expanded data network will give business customers access to Tino to, 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 to network. Uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be uh, testing out markets here in about ten days, and then a full next one uh, launch is supposed to be scheduled for the middle of May. So that's pretty cool. So you have more access to Tino's network. So pretty cool. So, um, but I'm sure a lot of customers will be excited about the voice and real TV part because you know you guys want to be able to talk and use the web at the same time on your uh, on your data connection. So that's really cool. Um, so I guess if you guys have any phones from like 2015 to now, you y'all guys are fine. If you guys have any phones from before 2015, y'all guys are screwed. Um, so anything from like the uh, from like the Galaxy S4, I guess, or the S5. And the S5 came out what? The S5 came out in 2014. So I guess anything from the Galaxy S6 newer and newer will have voiceover LTE capabilities. So I don't know what phones are classified as older devices from Boost. I don't know. So I guess anything from 2015. So I guess anything before 2015. Will not have the voice of LTE capabilities, so any phone that's from 2015 to newer, y'all guys should be fine. So that's the same from like the Galaxy S6 until now. So, uh, yeah, you, you can see if your phone is voice over capable, voice over LTE capable, if you guys Google your phone with voice over LTE. So, let's say, for an example, let's say, um, let's say an example. The LG Style 5 voiceover. I think the Style 5 is voiceover LTE capable anyway. So let's say the. So let's say. Um, let's say. Um, um, let's say you have an older phone like a Samsung Galaxy S6 on Boost. Let's just say that for an example. So you could Google Samsung Galaxy S6 Boost Mobile voiceover LTE and it should tell you if that phone is voiceover, voiceover LTE capable right now, which I think. It possibly is. I think the S7 is. So I don't know what phones. Sure, a lot of basic phones from Boost are most of are LTE capable, but I don't know what older phones are not from Boost. So I guess anything from. I guess anything before 2015 uh, don't have voice of LTE for Boost. So if you guys have a bitch mode from 2015 to now, y'all guys should be fine. So this is a really cool, cool feature. I'm sure a lot of people are excited about this. Uh, they are uh, launching this very soon, so stay tuned for that. It's not available just there, but it's coming very soon. Uh, this is part of the team of the Sprint Merger. And this is one of the uh, big things after the post T Mobile Sprint Merger closure. This is one of the first big things and changes and stuff. So. Uh, it's going to benefit a lot of business customers. Uh, it won't benefit all business customers because, you know, it depends on what device you have. If you guys have like a Galaxy S5 and Boost, you guys probably won't have this feature. But if you guys have the, if you guys have the Galaxy S6 or newer, y'all guys should be fine. So, like I said, you guys are going to find out if your uh, phone is voice over LT capable for Boost. Uh, you can contact Boost Mobile and ask them. Or you could Google, for example, Samsung Galaxy S6 Boost Mobile LTE, Boost Mobile Voice and LTE, and uh, um, on the to tell you. So yeah, um, so this is that's a this is great news for Boost Mobile customers, and I and like I said, a lot of customers will be excited about this. Um, it's one of the, it's one of the benefit of my customers because that's it. If you if you have like a new device, you'll be fine. So if you guys have any devices from 2015 until now, y'all guys are fine. If you guys have any devices from like 2014, like from like before 2015, you guys will not will not benefit from this. So if you guys have like a new, you guys have like a a first generation Note E for boost, it won't have the voice of LT function. Oh, thank. So, 
Uh, yeah, do you guys have some beast members getting voice over LTE, which is about time, and they're also getting uh, the expanded data network as well. So, beast mobile is getting a lot of changes happening very soon. So, uh, great news for beast mobile and its customers. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It works now a lot. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.